We're talking with Sir Harold Croto, who will be a speaker keynote presentation at SLAS 2013. Dr. Croto, what will you be telling the attendees of your session? Well, there are a wide range of issues that I think are very important um, with regard to science and society, I think, which uh, the attendees should address. And I, I tend in these sort of lectures to uh, talk about as forcefully as I can the concerns I have with regard to the way science and uh, what science society is doing um, and political issues uh, where there are points of conflict. We're familiar with those in the case of obviously things, things like global warming and uh, nanotechnology and uh, also, of course, um, such things as um, genetic engineering. But um, my view is that um, a lot of the criticism is not very knowledgeable. That doesn't mean that necessarily all the criticism is not uh, uh, worthwhile or not important. But my view is that, uh, in general, a lot of it is, is from a basis of misunderstanding and also an unawareness of the issues that uh, sometimes science and technology is trying to... Um, to overcome, such as sustainability issues and survival issues. And, of course, my view is that although uh, knowledge doesn't actually guarantee good decisions, um, common sense suggests that wisdom in these areas is not a, um, a, a sort of uh, likely um, consequence of ignorance. And so I feel that people should be aware of this, that science is not easy, and they should take the time to understand uh, science a little bit more than perhaps they do. Uh, that, and I think often people think that scientists should spend more time at, uh, explaining what they're doing to the public. That's certainly true. I'm not against that. But very often the public isn't prepared to um, make the effort to meet us halfway. They think it's easy. They don't realize the language of science is often mathematics and uh, formalism and stuff like this, which is absolutely necessary to understand the culture. So that's one issue. Um, a second issue is um, that I will address is almost certainly um, the fact that um, uh, for many years I've been involved in education and uh, as the internet has uh, advanced technically and in fact a paradigm shift in communications, um, so education um, has been something that needs to, follow, uh, to actually exploit these new paradigm shifting technologies and that's to some extent what I am doing now. Uh, I started off many years ago with the Vega Science Trust which made a lot of programs, several hundred programs for uh, with scientists and technologists. But now the internet has um, uh, democratized uh, broadcasting, and so it is now possible for many uh, people to, uh, and to sort of make programs and address issues that concern them, particularly young people. Uh, very many young people, say, uh, even in undergraduates, but certainly graduate students and postdocs, uh, have, have now got the facility to express themselves quite forcibly and talk to people throughout, uh, on a global scale about the issues that excite them, about which they're interested, a bit like, about which they're expert, but also about issues that concern them. And they do so from a very youthful imaginative and expressive uh, and I think often um, a very effective way and I think the internet um, is, is something that uh, enables them to do that and we're exploring uh, ways in which we can do that in an optimal way. Great, thank you Dr. Croto. Uh, registration is open for SLAS 2013 so please uh, register today. <laughs>